something is boosting low, so I gotta see why it's boosting low. So, I'm trying to figure it out. We're at King of the Hammers. See this? It's fucking dirt. It fucking sucks. We're gonna fuck shit up here in Hammers. That's what we do here. Yep, Craftworks, baby. In case you're in trouble, you always move your flags. Picked up like close to like another tin because you have the factory, like the head, the head pipe, like tapping around. Yeah. Bill at CBT. And you can swap out the sheaves, different angles, and all that stuff. Get different gearing. The front, the front, you can put diff two different springs without even taking the thing apart. It's all modular, so you can just pop off that cover, drop a new spring, you tension it down. All the arms and everything are back loading for weights and everything so you can set it up whatever way you want without ever having to disassemble or take it off the vehicle. So we'll be coming out with that. And like The nice part is the way that we designed it, we use the same housing for all the cars. And we just swap out sheaves in the, in the center. So we can run the same the same setup for Polaris, Cowie, Can-Am. We got our own head stud kits and everything coming out. We got rods, pistons that we're doing, uh, cams. And especially if you guys are trying to stay in a, CNC'd ported heads. Can't run them. Can we? Uh, depends on what series. So we got, we're doing CNC with our own cams and everything for it. But the flow that we're able to get out of these things is ridiculous. And even on the stock valves. So those, that's not even like overboard valves or anything on it. We'll have everything ready to go where you can pretty much get like a whole motor package and everything ready yeah. to go from a build up. He's I mean, already, already set up the program for it. We're doing final lights. Like, we'll so I mean, this one, this one particularly on the on the intake at it was like 12% more. Oh, shit. And then on the exhaust, it was 18. So 18 on the exhaust. Yeah. So and that's the first edition. Yeah. So are you guys gonna be doing like full motor bags? Like that's the idea. Is once like we're, they could buy a fucking NA motor from you guys. That's the idea. At the end of the day, make sure that we, you can just come in. You just buy a whole Craftworks motor setup ready to go. We're at King of the Hammers. It's crazy already. We're at the Kawasaki booth. We're gonna go check out what they got going on, show them what we've got and what we got going on, and uh, just start having fun till the sun goes down. Got me? Yeah. All right. What's the difference in this and what I've got? Cause this is fucking crazy. Uh, not, not a whole lot. Like right now, we got it on low boost still. Yeah. Are like that. No. <laughs> so I take it for a little bit? Yeah, I'll take it for a cruise back. That's fucking that's awesome. Dude, it's just the exhaust. I'm like, fuck, I love this.
name is Jim Beaver with JB15 Group, also a professional off-road racer, radio host, out here at King of the Hammers, having a little fun with Kawasaki, my partners at Vision Wheel, and my good friends at Craftworks. Just got done test driving this KRX with a Craftworks supercharger. And let me tell you, this thing doesn't disappoint. This is rowdy, it is fun, it is chaotic. This thing is highly tuned and this is a hell of a lot of fun, man. Anybody that's got a KRX needs to get one of these on these things. You need to come out, check it out, check out Craftworks social media channels. Man, they kill it. And let me tell you, this thing is hella fun to drive. Hey, yeah. nice meeting you. you yeah, too. thanks for yeah. your time, Brian. No worries. No, yeah, yeah. Good, you know? The legendary Brian Crower right here. Of course, we got Dave. You guys already know. Yeah, import guys, right? Yeah, yeah. coming yeah. together. Import, import guys <laughs> doing in the fucking dirt. How crazy is that? Good art is vulnerable. No, it's not. It means our shit's broken. <laughs> shit breaks. That's race cars. Yeah, all right. Right now, I'm just checking the cooling system, making sure it works well. It seems a little hot, so I'm just burping it, making sure it's cool. It's hot enough to make some, uh, make some coffee. just very usable right very 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 usable power I would agree with that consistent not bad huh yeah really 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 consistent gonna it would uh it would prevent a lot of people from getting hurt because that's the problem with like power wise it feels the same as my other cars or, or a little on the lower end of it but it yeah. the other cars when they come on they come on yeah it's they get instant, wild right wild yeah the front end comes loose it gets wild where this car it's planted and the nice thing about the supercharger you guys did a really nice job it's just consistent like nobody's gonna get in trouble it's 
super consistent. Like the power is all the way through. Yeah. You don't have to worry about like, oh, I got to spool it up. Like it's really nice in that sense. Very, very nice job. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it's it, it's it's good because it's like, it's all bolt on. There's no cutting, no welding. It's on pump gas. It's just like very convenient. No, it's, it's the perfect system because it's so consistent through the power band like that you can bolt it on. You can go out and it gives you just that enough to get you to where you want to be without causing the front end to come loose, without causing the car to get light, without a ton of power. Insta it's really a nice setup. Yeah. Really, really nice job. So would you recommend this kit to people out there with yeah, the Yeah, absolutely. No, right it's, it's, it's by far the smoothest, most consistent power I've ridden in. Really nice. That's good to hear. I'm glad you liked it. Really, really nice, bud. Really right nice. On.